Hello everyone and welcome to this week's office time with me. Uh, those of you who have been following along over uh, the last few months know that I uh, do this once a week uh, where I spend some time uh, talking about business related topics, in particular entrepreneurship related topics. Uh, for uh, business owners that want to scale their businesses, in particular scale them beyond a million dollars in annual revenue. Uh, and what I want to talk to you about today is a really important topic actually, and it's about how do you choose the right business coach? And I want to tell you that uh, being a serial entrepreneur, and I now uh, have uh, started and launched three companies, I'm about to actually launch my fourth company, uh, I have learned quite a bit about how to scale a company and how to scale a company that is uh, achieving at least, uh, uh, frankly, over a million dollars in annual revenue. And in that process, and in, in my entrepreneurial journey, I've also learned a lot of lessons. And that's part of my objective with this office time with you, lessons. And so what I wanna to talk to you about in particular today is um, the challenge with identifying the right business coach. And there are a lot of people out there, a lot of people out there selling uh, consulting services or packages to help you grow your business or scale your business. And candidly, a lot of them have never actually had a business other than consulting and coaching. And I don't know about you, but as far as I'm concerned, I accord more credibility to people who are consulting or providing advice or mentorship or those kinds of things who've actually had businesses that they have scaled. And I'm very focused on helping entrepreneurs scale their businesses past a million dollars in annual revenue because in particular, the research shows that women entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs of color, minority entrepreneurs, uh, the overwhelming majority, as in over 85 to 90% have small micro businesses, meaning under a million dollars in annual revenue. Now, while some of them want to have what we call lifestyle businesses, that's what you would refer to as a lifestyle business, a lot of business owners would actually like to scale their businesses. And so I've done that multiple times. And so when I look at the, the, the uh, marketplace for business coaches, I see a lot of people selling their services, but they've never actually had a business. So my point to you today is to kind of give you some questions to ask when you're considering engaging or signing up uh, to work with a business coach or business mentorship or you know some kind of online program. The first is ask, have you ever had a business that's not this business? If they say yes, ask, great. What has your payroll been? In other words, how many people have you had on payroll? That will tell you the size and scope of the company. And if they say one or two or just a few, or if they're not specific, red flag, that they've probably never had another business that's focused on actually selling their services, either B2C, meaning customers, or B2B. Here's another thing. What do you know about doing competitive market research? How do you identify? What are the areas where you should focus on, on being your uh, establishing your market differentiator? If they can't talk to you about that, that's a big red flag. Ask them, who have their customers been? B2C or B2B? First of all, if they don't know that, that's a red flag. But the B2C is selling your services to customers, you know, the public. B2B is selling your services to businesses. In my companies, we sell B2B. We sell to very large corporations. We sell to federal agencies. We sell to law enforcement. We sell to higher ed. We sell to, to what we call B2B, business to business. And frankly, all of my businesses that have 
uh, grown way past a million dollars in annual revenue always sell B2B. So uh, you want to ask them that because if you're seeking the advice of a coach, you want to make sure that they're actually in a business that's similar to yours at the very minimum. Understand who your customer base is. Ask them, have they ever put together a board of directors, a board of advisors? And if so, how did they approach that? That right there should be a tell to a, a very specific sign as to whether or not they actually know how to scale a business. Why? Because most businesses that scale have a board of directors or at the very minimum have a board of advisors. Also ask, how do you win contracts? If they can't tell you that and they kind of ask you, what do you mean? Red flag. Uh, also ask them questions around what mistakes have they made? You want to know what mistakes have you made in growing businesses? These are questions that experienced entrepreneurs or business owners <clears throat> who have had successful businesses will be able to answer candidly from a place of knowledge uh, and also be able to give you real advice. And so I share that with you because I want you to not waste your money. I've spent, you know, when now about to launch now my fourth business, I know you can, you can waste a lot of money in terms of trying to get advice or, or, or the right kind of guidance or those kinds of things. And, uh, and you know what? We work so hard. Uh, we don't want to be wasting money. We want to achieve results. So the questions that I'm suggesting to you are very specific for you to gauge whether or not that person is actually sophisticated, experienced enough, has the credibility, has the authority to really guide you. There's all kinds of, uh, you know, mentors out there that talk about mindset and positive thinking and those kinds of things. And I'm not saying that there isn't a place for that. There is, because let me tell you, after having multiple multiple businesses, you do need to have grit. You do need to have persistence. And there's going to be times when, you know, days are tough. Certainly in 2020, it's been very tough for a lot of business owners and entrepreneurs. So positive thinking and mindfulness and, you know, all those kinds of things are important. But at the end of the day, that's not going to be enough. And so I want to make sure that you have the right kind of questions to ask when you're assessing whether or not someone uh, is a business coach or a business mentor or has some kind of entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial program that will actually be helpful to you. So part of this weekly chat with me is uh, part of my Possibility Architect program. And my Possibility Architect program is actually named because one of my dear friends, we were talking one day and he said, you know, Michelle, you're the Possibility Architect. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, you have overcome so many challenges and tough odds in your life and you've just architected all your possibilities. And I loved that name. So I use that name now for uh, my online mentorship program called Possibility Architect. And I started it because uh, over the years, I've been asked by women entrepreneurs in particular, certainly entrepreneurs, uh, minority entrepreneurs, because I operate in that space and the supplier diversity space and those kinds of things, to mentor them. And I know the value of the right kind of mentorship. But often it's been challenging because I have multiple businesses. Some of them are investor backed. Uh, and I've, I've just kind of shared with you who our clients are. So uh, I haven't necessarily had the time, but I absolutely benefit uh, I have benefited from it. I know the value of it. I know the power of it. And that's why I started my on to, uh, online entrepreneurship mentoring program called Possibility Architect. So if you'd like to learn more and actually watch my free uh, masterclass, just go to possibilityarchitect.com uh, and it's available to you. And by all means, continue to share your questions uh, with me and I will uh, take them and answer them uh, periodically and so appreciate all of you joining me crystal and eddie and esme and others it's so great to see you and i hope to see you next week take good care